don't know the stop loss yet, right? We don't know any of that kind of stuff. So can't give you that information here. Let's see how this thing closes. All right, QQQ is the better. QQQ is better. Looking at uh, Feb 14, no, QQQ looking at 368 calls. Today's, ex or sorry, uh, Feb 11th expiration above 363.80. Okay, watching closely here, guys. All right, I am in. I am in. Uh, 126.3. 126.3 on those 368 calls. Okay, good initial pop here, right? Pretty good initial pop. Let's see if we can get a little bit more follow through. Now it's kind of fade. So as we approach this midline, right, can look to take some off and, and then uh, try to go free run. Uh, let's see if we can get a little bit more follow through here, though. Okay, still in, right? Still in. Right, just because there's this 30 min close. That's the only reason I want to give this just a little bit extra here, guys. Right, it's the only reason. Microsoft looks really interesting here above this 307, but a little bit challenging. Let's see if QQQ can now give us that pop here, guys. Right, Let's see if it can now give us that pop. Can be pretty aggressive in trying to lock in some profit here, right? So let's see if this thing can now follow through for us. Gonna look to take some off at this 140. There we go, guys. Locking in a little bit of profit. Right, so try and take some off at this 140. Right, should happen here in a second. Locking in some profit. Then gonna take, uh, go entry protection mode at like 130. There we go, guys. Locked in some profit. Stop loss here on my remainder is at 130. And let's see if this thing can give us some follow through here to the upside. Hopefully a few of you guys held. Hopefully I gave you guys enough information. But now let's see if this thing can give us that pop up and over, right? Stop loss 130. Gonna look to take a little bit more off here in a second. Well, almost sent a limit order there. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Who's in this? Who's in this? Let me know. So stop loss 130. Taking a little bit more off here, guys. Uh, at this 155, about one third of my position. Let's even keep going. Yeah, my pleasure, Paco. I, I, I was in the same thing. The only reason, right? The only reason we held is because it's start of the 30 min candle. So we're expecting a little bit of volatility. There was nothing there that invalidated. Hopefully I gave you guys enough time, right? Hopefully I gave you guys enough time and thank you for the trust. So stop loss is 135 on my remainder. Let's see if this thing can give us that pop and follow through, but really good job everyone, right? Really good job. Good job if you held, congratulations. And, and now let's see if we can get a bit more, see if we survived uh, survived that first pullback. But really, really well done. And let's see if we can get a bit lucky here. So all in all, right? Really good candle here still. Let's see if we can survive this and now it can give us that breakout over this 364.90. Right, and give us that follow through. Maybe this might stop us out here, unfortunately. It looks like it's hunting. So let's see if we can get away with it. But really, really good job, everyone. Let's see if we can keep getting some more follow through. Stop loss, 135 on my remainder. And let's see if we can get lucky. So I just quickly took a look at my uh, <laughs> Bloomberg TV. And they're saying that market's pumping because this is peak inflation. So 
Who cares? Um, we're up like big numbers here, guys, right? Almost 30% now on this QQQ. So let's see if this thing can keep giving us that follow through. Going to take a little bit more off here as we kind of uh, break up and over into that 365 area. Uh, I'm going to look to take a little bit more off, but we are in great shape here. Nothing to do but manage this position and just keep stacking up this win. This is turning into a really nice trade. Hopefully uh, saving a few guys' weeks, right? Hopefully turning things around. Really, really good job, everyone who caught this. Let's see if we can keep getting some more. So guys, I'm going to be just a little bit uh, greedier here. I locked some in at 160. So we're just struggling a little bit with this uh, 365 tight. So I just want to protect myself against a flush. Uh, so locking in a little bit more there. Now I'm going to push my stop loss just even a little bit higher. Um, so we're going to try to run this thing um, if we can. But stop loss is going to be like basically this 364.40 area. If we make a lower low underneath there, I I'm out. Um, and so let's see if this thing can keep running, but I don't have that much of my original position left. I got like a little bit less than one third of my original position. And, and now let's see if this thing can keep following through, but we're in great shape here. So let's see if this thing can kind of, kind of push us up towards that, you know, 367, 366 plus, but we got nothing to do here, guys, besides manage this trade. Um, one thing I want to do today that we haven't done this week, and um, we've had some big swings this week, right? Um, I can't speak for your guys' numbers. I can just speak for mine. But um, Monday, right, started the day down or started the week down like 11 and a half K. Tuesday, right, up 14. Yesterday, down two, right, two and a half. I'm rounding a little bit here, guys, right? So apologies. But there's a lot of variance here in our plays. And a lot of that variance is because we're getting ourselves in into trouble by overtrading. So we're in a big win here now, right? We're. Man, pushing 50%, right? So let's not force it, right? Let's not give this away. Let's not let uh, let this turn into a bad day here. So uh, number one objective as well, right, is to protect mental capital. It's been a stressful week. It's been an up and down week. We've now caught a really nice win to kind of hopefully tilt the, the balance of powers in our favor. So let's see if, right, we can protect this, protect our mental capital, not get too greedy, not get too... Uh, attached to these markets like we have to do something let's just keep locking in this win right keep making some money but let's not over trade so realistically you got here guys right if we have any other setups today right i am going lotto size on absolutely everything else right i am not letting this turn into a red day i'm not letting this turn into a a, a day that takes away from kind of my mental capital and I'm making sure that whatever happens, I'm really proud of myself for the way I traded today, right? And that for me is a PL number. And this number is flying up with this trade. And the only thing I can do if I realistically can do, right, is make this day worse if I try to do anything else, right? It's a near 2% day here. So why force something that isn't there, right? Let's see if we can keep getting some follow through. Let's see if we can keep getting things to be nice. But guys, we ain't forcing things that aren't there, right? We're, we're just going to keep doing what got us here in the first place. And uh, we're not going to overtrade, right? We're not going to force things. We're, we're not just going to do stuff because we're bored. If you're bored, go play Call of Duty. Go for a run. Go pet your dog. Don't need to be in the market, right? There's a lot of better things we can do to protect our money. And a lot of the times, right, that is just walking away and, and not doing anything else. And if that's what this market dictates, right, that's what we have to do. Um, and so we're going to be very conscious of that here, right, going forward. Uh, that's something that I need to work on a little bit. And I'm going to be very honest with you guys, right? If we lock in a win and we have a really nice day, that's it, right? We're, we're not going to force trades. We're not going to keep going. We're not going to try to squeeze every little ounce of toothpaste out of the, the toothpaste, right? We don't need to do that. We don't need to roll up the tube. All we need to do is just pick our shots, right? Squeeze from the middle, have fun. And then it's someone else's problem the rest of the day. <laughs> good Natash, good uh, I like that man look we don't have to be greedy right guys 
This is a great trade for us. So let's not get too carried away. Let's not give anything up, right? That's how we stack up wins. So if we have big days, let's lock in big days and come back to it tomorrow, right? We don't need to force things. We don't need to overtrade. That's how you get ourselves into trouble, right? 99% of the time, problems come from bad decisions, right? And bad decisions come from overtrading or oversizing, right? So you can avoid those two problems by walking away when you're up big. Do it. So creeping up towards that stop loss here, right? If you make a lower low, guys, I will be out. And that will be it for this play. I'd like to see it bounce, but I don't feel like it's going to happen. All right, guys, I'm out. 141, fill price on my stop loss. So 1.3%, right? That's an awesome, that's an awesome trade, right? That's a fantastic result. So I will take that 10 times out of 10. And uh, now, right, guys, our number one priority, protect capital. Don't give anything away. Let's not over trade. Let's not let a green day turn into a red day, right? That would be an unacceptable outcome here. It's been a very challenging week. It's been a very choppy week. So let's be very happy that we're green, right? Hopefully everyone is, and we can just keep stacking up green days, right? Get back to what we're good at. Right, so this is what we have to do, right? This is, we have to protect ourselves from ourselves, right? That, so be it, that's what we have to do. And I, I don't mind, uh, I'm not too proud to say, hey guys, like I make mistakes too, right? It's not, uh, it's not like that. So if you have to protect yourself from yourself, right? That's what I have to do. Um, not walking away, not doing anything along those lines. Did you catch that, Swanee? So guys, we're not gonna overtrade, right? We're not gonna force things. Just keep stacking them up, right? This was a tough week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday fucking sucked, realistically, right? I'd be very honest. So hopefully this is smoother sailing ahead for us, right? And we're kind of back on track to how we were trading, right? January, early Feb, and then this week was just kind of that blip. Remember, guys, we talk about it all the time, right? Survive until we can thrive. Today is a day we, we thrived, right? But we put ourselves in a situation to do that by surviving, I know it's frustrating. I know it sucks to bleed, but hopefully we can just keep, right, keep stacking them up. Yeah, I, I, I actually, uh, I was just thinking about that. I think I might have missed my position sizing call out as well. So apologies for that. Uh, this came together pretty quick. But I like that you defaulted towards half size. I think that's a really good like muscle memory trick. And very glad that 35 net win is really, really good. Glad that you're kind of back to scratch. Really, really stoked. And uh, very happy for you, Swanee. Very, very happy. Good job, man.